We reported earlier this week that COVID cases are climbing again across South Carolina. Latest numbers show there were more than 6,500 cases across the state last week as cases are rising across the country as well. Nancy Cordes has more on how the government is responding. Congratulations on your first dose. With 90% of the country now seeing a COVID surge, the administration is reinstating its free testing program. Starting today, Americans can order four COVID tests per household at covidtest.gov. According to the latest CDC numbers, COVID cases are up nearly 50% in the U.S. in just one week. COVID deaths are up nearly 62%. Why are COVID deaths spiking more dramatically than COVID cases are? The death numbers are just beginning to rise. We obviously want to make sure that does not go any further. We know we can prevent nearly every death from COVID if people get their updated vaccines and people get treated. But so far, fewer than 16% of U.S. adults have gotten the new bivalent booster released this fall. Among them, Denise San Miguel in Dallas, who is acting now because her sister got COVID. I was just scared that I don't want to get it. Even before this COVID uptick, hospitals were already overcrowded with flu and the respiratory illness RSV. Though on that front, the White House COVID coordinator says there is a bit of good news. There's still places that have very high levels of RSV. You're still, but, but nationally, there's no question in my mind, RSV is heading down. The White House has warned that its COVID operation is running out of funds and it's asked Congress for another $9 billion. But Republicans are pushing back. They argue the government has already spent enough on COVID. They say the White House should try to repurpose other funds if it needs them. Nancy Cordes, CBS News, the White House.